Hello everyone, this is Yours Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Raise the World Weeble Let's Play as we continue for episode 17 from turn 86 in the harvest season of 211. Now last time we left off as we begin sieging around Beihai. We're trying to take down the entire Shenyong Peninsula and wipe out Cornwall's faction. We made a pit stop here in Le'an. We don't have instant siege anymore, so everywhere we go we have to build a siege tower and uh, obviously hope they come out and chase, but it's also unlikely we do a full wipe on the entire unit. Um, there are some pesky cavalry uh, that's going to make things a little bit tricky on both of these retinues here, but we'll see when they come out. Uh, aside from our main force here, uh, it's hard to classify which one is the main force, uh, our army here has moved towards Hangu Gate Pass. We'll be able to siege it next turn. We also would need a turn to siege it because we don't have any siege weapons once again. We're not really fielding any strategists, so that's really not going to happen for us. Uh, Samayi is on the field. Good to know. Uh, I think he just got summoned because he's still recruiting units. We will probably head back to him eventually. I don't think anyone's going to kill him. I don't think he's going to be going after our territory either. They're usually quite scared of Hulao Gate Pass so far, so I assume that will stay the same. Tal Tal wants peace deal. Hmm. Well, we are not obligated to grant it to him. And Coron, we just want a full wipe. So that's not going to happen either. Yep, that's pretty much it. Let's continue here. Nope, come out and fight us. There is Yuan Si's army. Now, I believe we checked last time. Yep, unbreakable, unbreakable. Not unbreakable. They probably both have that um, skill checked uh, that gives unbreakable on commanders. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a bit tricky. I don't think we'll be fully wiping them. I think there's going to be a follow up battle. And even if we defeat the army and execute the generals, most likely they're going to replace them. And then, you know, the army will stay. So it's hard for us to completely wipe. All right, so we're not full health. That's one thing. Let's hide our cavalry. They don't need to be part of this. We can put a tower on the field just for show. So obviously no roaring here. Waiting for that garrison to show up, but it doesn't matter. As we mentioned, it's not going to make a difference here. I'm just going to go out here and kill some cavalry. And if their general wants to fight me, that'd be great, actually. Let's kill the cavalry first. Yep. Freeze them in place. Do a slam. On the horse, usually pretty straightforward. Yep. They should be done after they wake up from their immobilize. Let's see if we can kill her. No relationships, so don't have to worry about any sort of, um, what do you call it? Oathworn or friend. Boosting it. We're gonna let them go. Like I said, it's gonna be a follow-up siege. Can we kill her? Instead of just circling here? Apparently not. The red hair- oh! Here comes the cow traps. Or maybe we do try to chase it down, actually. It's not such hard work. Just less than three is all we need. I think three is actually good. It's a 10% mark, but just to be safe, we take it down to two. Well, there's a city behind. You guys are almost there. Run back to Luan. There we go. All right, two is definitely safe. Now I want to go after one of these archers. Only one. Oh, they're still marching towards them, aren't they? Alright, we'll chase this group down. I think that's definitely less than 12. 
Next group. Ooh, dismounted alert. Okay, less than 12. Are you guys fatigued? Why are they so slow? Alright, we can give Li Bu his second heal. Oh, they are fat- Oh, Tarn's very fatigued. But John Al is not, so that's weird. They technically ran the same distance. Alright, we got generals coming at us. No big deal. Axe band. Gotta watch out for the spears. That's a good one. We gotta chase that down. They can capture a tower. I don't really care about the damage from the tower. It's not gonna be much compared to what we do. One more bump. Just to be safe, let's get it under 12. So we can get a dash on her. Just a jab. Don't move, don't move. There we go. Get back in there and slam. Uh, might not be a good angle. I uh, can't cancel anymore. Still pretty healthy. Might as well lead them back over there. Pick on the unit again. I mean, the good news about these generals is they're not going to route. Unbreakable means they'll be here until we kill them. Well, that capture rate is slow. Alright, it's my again. Two more hits. Just one more. Didn't land it. Hit it on the archers. There we go. Right, we're gonna leap this group around. We need to go chase that archer group down. They need to break formation. I'll charge at this for a little bit. Not too much, because if it's too much, then what's going to happen is that they're going to route, and I'm going to have to go chase them. this together. This group of Sionu Cav frees everyone around us, or just them. 
Roar. Mm, we don't want to fight near the spears, so... Let's wait till they rout. You guys go that way. They still have 19 morale with 6 units. Wow. Alright, we'll kill this cavalry group first. Trick is getting it down to 3. I think we're good. Just to make sure. Yeah, they, they see them. The two spear unit might go after them. But I think we'll be able to finish off another one. Yep. And then we're gonna hide in the forest, probably over there. Oh, bump into spears. This is the one I want to kill first. Actually, no, let's kill this. Go recapture this. Let me finish this group off. Go after that. Make sure they don't bounce back. All right, stay on that. Looks like two left. Ooh, don't bump into spears. No, it looks like three left. Yep, they're all chasing this now. I'm gonna spread them out and destroy them. Gonna leave it to the boys. Take care of that. This should actually just kill them all. Oh, that's too slow. Now all they have are spear units. Here's where things get tricky. Let's first... Let's kill a non-unbreakable general. That way they always have someone on the field, so they don't all suddenly all army lost at the same time. Because we can't handle that. Alright, one archer is good. Jono can use his roar on some of these. It is an easier fight. Ooh, don't dismount yourself like that. No one's wavering too much. Alright, you guys did well. Time to back it up. I'll stay. Alright, I think we can probably kill her fast, actually. Alright, 
before they interferes. I mean, she's running the wrong way. She needs help, but her help is that way. She's trying to kill. Now she's stuck. She's trapped right here. We just gotta get some slashes on her. There we go. It's hard to finish her. There we go. Alright, we're gonna start spreading it out. Um, we could consider roaring on the whole group. We're kinda close to the center of the map. Or we roar on half of the group right now. And we just chase this half. With everyone. Hmm. I don't want them to chain route, but they might. Army loss might kick in. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I think we have enough to make sure we chase everyone down. I'm gonna double down this group. Miku needs to be the fastest one here. And they're running the wrong way. It's good enough. Next group. Next group. Next group. Okay, they will be fine. We don't have to let them do anything else. Onto this. Seven, three, we're good. Everyone come here. Throw in a last heal. Maybe it's a free siege. I mean, it took a lot of work, but if it's free siege, I think it's worth it. Let's see if we can get it. I mean, every unit wiped. Resiliency, but if we capture, we can execute. Right. Or we can even employ and then fire. That'd be the even safer route, because they don't replace. Uh, we're just actually we're just gonna keep to our thing. We're just gonna keep executing everyone. I mean, if they replace generals, the two that died could be replaced as well. So it's like keep own retinues kind of the thing. Um, if it's just like a general standing there and we have to siege it, then we just go in. There we go. That works even better. We'll just take it. Good start. Move Gaoshun back to Hula Gate Pass in five turns. Yeah, we can do that. Don't worry. We'll be back in five turns. Emperor's like, your giant army. That's the one we're uncomfortable about. Move move them back. This is a very upgraded Hangul Pass. It's going to be a very hard delegate, actually. Nobody wants to be our spies. Nobody want to be our friends. A couple guys scared of us. The land around Hula Gate Pass is very dark. Alright, so I think it's... The clear in Dong first. And we're going to do the full wraparound. Or else this army just keep colonizing and if they level it up too high then we have a hard time um, sieging these places. Right now it's at least low level and like don't lie in all those areas are just way too over level like level 8, level 9. Takes a bit of time. Now we didn't look at their generals beforehand. No stifling deluge, stifling deluge, and okay. They're coming out interesting. Run. You two in particular 
uh, run that way. We're gonna guide them. What we can do is probably just run straight in, actually. That should draw their attention back. There's siege weapon on? Oh my god. They're like... I mean, that's not a victory point, that's the sad thing. But they will react to it. Cataphracts? Things are getting upgraded here. Where's the other cavalry? You guys really think you guys can slip out of vision? It's your turn to die too. I mean, it's the night battle effect. Everyone's morale is suffering. Wait, right, come back first. They're pretty smart about trying to defend at the towers. Well, we're just going to ignore that and stay at the capture point. See what they do. Ooh, square formation? They're pulling out all the tricks. Alright, let's just wipe the unit first and then come back for the generals. They do have Siphon Delude, so Roaring is not really possible. I think it's her. It's the older looking lady. She's gone. Anyone bouncing back? No? Okay, we just roar. That's it? I guess the unit quality stepped up a little bit. It's almost 100 turns, so factions are getting stronger and stronger. Alright, not much movement left though. We're gonna march. We're gonna come burn down the Confucian Temple and then work our way back. So we burn basically Coral's ancestor and then we go burn him. That part is done, the siege is done, diplomacy is not happening, um, any assignments we might have been missed, I think that might be the only thing we have to do. That's pretty much it. Let's continue. Uh, we will become a vassal of Matel, no thanks. They're fighting He Yi together. Also vassalize Liu Biao. Okay. Oh, minus 50 military supplies. I mean, good thing this is an in and out type of fight. No supplies at all. Time to run back home. The Emperor will be pleased next spring. Cao Zhi? Cao Zhang? Cao Cao's two sons. 
21 and 19. Uh, I think that's about right. Lady Ban's second and third son. We can also use the Annex if it's a really big settlement that we don't want to fight with a one-turn siege. Um, but then we would have to keep it, I believe. I don't think we can raise those. That's the one downside. So we might not do it. But it is a very powerful tool. Like, imagine an Emperor seat that you want. You can just walk up to it and click Annex, and it's yours. Quite unfair. Alright, this is just a roar. They have a very small retinue. Alright, we got the dismount out of the way. Got the roar. And it's over. Yeah, we learned to not roar early because the dismount apparently cancels the ability usage. So that's something we really want to avoid. Oh, we're still getting paid for this war, that's right. Yuan Si is still our mercenary target. Um, we can come down and burn a little bit of Lady Mi's territory. It looks like Yuan Si is about to get wiped, but he has these two. If he didn't have these two, I would probably go wipe him here, and then wipe him here, and then just he's done. But that's not the case. Yes, we could. Uh, it's, it's such a far pit stop, and they will just probably recolonize that. So we might as well ignore it. We could also just ignore Lady Me entirely as well. And do this, this, skip that, and then go to Beihai's livestock farm. That might be the better route, actually. And yeah, we're gonna march back to Dong. Ah, he has an army. Uh, can we get close enough to the, yeah we are close enough to the garrison reinforcement so when they do fight us we will be able to try to pick up the rule again sounds pretty good our army's coming back we listen to the emperor so he picked up all the basic court stuff now it's just giving him more authority I didn't hit apply. There we go. Everyone's happy in our faction. Nothing's wrong. Economy's still staying afloat, despite running a very negative budget. Ah, here comes the bait. You think he has us? Little does he know he doesn't even have Stifling Deluge. Ah, uh, this is a very roarable situation. Pretty good revenue from the Iron Mine. Now the thing is, if we want to avoid the Iron Mine fight entirely, we would... Actually no, it wouldn't work, because we're not sieging it, it will bounce back to half. We've done that multiple times, no need to stress about this. This once again is going to be just a roaring situation. I don't even know if we need to wait for the reinforcement, because they're not going to be going anywhere. Right, so this is not an opportunity for us to do damage, this is just an opportunity to... Oh, they're here. I guess we will kill some units. Uh, don't. Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Uh, we're clicking on the ed else at the map. That's why we're not getting anywhere. Oh, they're at the edge. Ooh, ooh. Come, 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 come. Yeah. Come to the other wall puddle. We'll freeze them first this time and then kill them. It's hard to click, right click on it without. Stepping into it. There we go. Uh, I killed some of them. It's it's hard to get them to step on it. But that poor that poor unit right there. N not a pretty end for some of those troops. Ooh, that's a good slam. Yeah, 
unit. There's going to be multiple cavalry unit that charges us, and we're actually going to lose some health. We brought our own personal heal station. Actually, why don't we all come? He's trying to snipe us with a bow. Interesting. Roar. So much cavalry. Pretty sure if we scoot up, we can play Roar. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We roared? We got dismounted? Ah. Uh, Dismount cancel. Happened to us again. Just was we were saying it. We weren't even charging though, I was just moving him I was walking him up. Anyways, it's fine. The end result is the same. Just a little bit more painful of a process though. No one else has slams. We're just gonna have to kill them. Alright, Taran's also dismounted. Surprisingly, John L kept his horse. Got the roar coming back here in six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, give me that morale. We will slam in two. I mean, the fact that we're dismounted is a super big advantage for us to fight generals. The attack speed difference, just night and day. Alright, so we can kill him now. Nope, negative. We are bleeding out a lot of health here. Everyone get back. Give us a heal. We'll try to kill some spear guards here. Maybe get another heal out of the way. Maybe not. I feel like all the units are going to escape before that time comes back. I'm just going to have to heal at the beginning of the next siege fight with them. We're still looking for Cao Cao, actually. Oh, Ma Teng's finally here. No thanks. Only 900? Ma Teng actually might fancy a fight. Our in army's injured. I guess the best way to do this would be in camp outside of Hulao Gate Pass to prevent like a long-term siege. <laughs> Keep sanctioning us. I'm not sure how mm, how we want to set this up. We don't have supplies yet, so like we're not gonna be able to heal back until we get that supply. 
I think setting up an encampment makes more sense. Unless they have night battle, then we might be in trouble. Wu Lian Shi? They do have night battle. Aren't you supposed to be with Sun Quan? It's Sun Quan's concubine, his favorite concubine. Out with Ma Teng. Yeah, if they are smart, they will see just now. When we don't have supplies and our armies are pretty much all dead. Generals are pretty much all dead. And we're going to rely on the garrison to fight him off, which is still an impressive force. So far, we haven't seen anyone try to make a move on us. Dongping, instant siege, please. We can kill Zhang Yan. Does that count as Liu Bu's kill? I don't think so. So we're not doing that. Let's get a set item. What set item do we get? Ah, uh, okay. Nothing useful. So we got this done last time, and now we're working toward Yellow Dragons, I guess. So we're, we're just coming down this side, clear this up, try to get ourselves a temple somewhere. Might mean we have to take a piece of land. We're probably going to have to sit back and heal up first before sending Liu Bu in to try to get a roar on them. They might be charging out. We are not, not favored here, so I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to charge out. Okay, they're not charging out. That's fine. I think we need like at least two heals before Liu Bu should go. We're going to go through the side here. Yeah, he's like three heals away from being full health. That's how bad it was last fight. I think we click two and then we send him off. If we disappear, would they all gather up in the back? Yep. AI behavior. Right on cue. Now, if Lu Bu can pick up stock from Yan Bai Hu, then we're golden. I can trick all of them to go back, and I can sneak in and then roar on them, as they will be all back there already. Alright, let's see if they're all. No, they're not all back yet. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's one spear. If they dismount me, I'm just super unlucky here. It's gotta be a great slam. And then I'm gonna hopefully chain route the spear. Trying to throw cow traps. <laughs> Spring it out. Look at that, look at that. It's like cow trap. Chain route on this side. And now we can go roar on the other side. They should move in so that when I need the heal at the end, they'll be ready for it. Why are they spreading out? Oh, maybe because they saw them. We should chain route both of them. This one might bounce back. Okay, now if we hit it. Now it's over. I don't even mind getting dismounted if they do happen to knock us down, but they're moving. I know there's one guy on that side. That's why we're gonna dash to him. Just gotta route him within 15 seconds. And it's victory. We can probably sneak one more heal in 
Uh, Reboot's ready for. Actually, yeah, Reboot's ready for. Now that we have instant siege back, we can charge into those high level settlements in Dunai and wipe them out. Should also be a simple roar. Maybe a couple chase. This is Guan Yu's line. From Romance. Describing enemy generals appear on the battlefield as though they are meat on the butcher stall, where they put the for sale sign for the price of the meat on their neck, as though their heads are easy to take, like meat from a butcher stand. It's a pretty sick line. Basically saying, you know, head for sale, head for sale. Alright, we're gonna let the dismount happen. If that's gonna happen, and then we're gonna roar, and then we're gonna chase on the single guy who we didn't roar on, and we're gonna rout him, and that's a victory. And we didn't even take damage. I mean, the heal still kicks in 2k at the end of the 60 seconds, which is why we're full, but still. The appearance is we didn't take damage. Now, I don't think our movement reset is going to give us enough distance to get another territory, but it should be close. We can play March to one. Yep. Out of steam here. We're going to march towards, I guess, Longya. Alright, so you got nothing here. I'm gonna take this, bounce it over here, bounce it over here. That, that's a long distance. We probably have to hit these two and then march. And then come down this way. Because ultimately ending here would be better for us. Instead of going down this way, this way. These two are close. But then we end up here. Actually, it's about the same thing. Yeah, maybe we just take the coastal line. That's the longer distance. This path right here is the one that I'm kind of worried about. We'll spend a turn or two. All right, here comes the real question. Would Ma Tung actually come fight us? The bigger question is, if he comes fight us, we don't get his mark. I want his mark. So I, I hope he doesn't come. I hope he gets scared off. He does have a siege weapon. We'll see what he does. Hmm, campaign movement range. I think we'll take that actually, instead of the 3%. Let's continue here. He backed off. Yeah, they're all scared. The army's like as low as it is. Maybe it's just the level 5, you know, gate pass garrison. Too scary. Want non-aggression? You're very lucky that historically we're best friends. <laughs> 30 points on our poor daughter, who doesn't have a title yet. Well, you can be the blood dragon. Uh, is it desire that you have a problem with? No, see, there's no desire. That's what we were kind of worried about. Let's make her general commander. Yeah, Kui wants to join us? Oh, it's all true. Father of Twin Tian, yep. One of two that suggested Twin Tian to Cao Cao and helped the implementation. Uh, could we use him as a administrator? 
with mustering turns, replenishment supplies. He's definitely not a spy. And he's unbreakable. We need administrator. I don't think champions are the best for us. We need like maybe Vanguard or commanders because we just want to reduce our upkeep. The minus one mustering turn is maybe okay, but we're not pumping out multiple armies. So that's, that's another thing. I guess we're not doing it. All right, no extra garrison unit should be fairly easy. Mm, where are we looking at here? Probably one of these corners here. Good luck, boss. Good luck. I mean, most of the units are actually on the wall. That's that's a good thing for us. That guy over there is kind of weird. All right, landing. Oh, what are we doing? Get on the wall. The wall's good. The wall's our friend. Yeah, landing one of these on the wall is like impossible. We just hit like air outside. Uh, don't chase. No point. No oil? You know, unfortunate. I'm not gonna slam on the wall anymore, just too slow. It doesn't actually do a lot. We'll hit the one who bounced back. I take it back. It's a decent one. Alright, those two are routed. Let's kill the other guy on the wall first. We can reduce their melee evasion and armor. Maybe? To the left? Oh, he turned around! Oh, he lost his target. Good. Are they just all running away from me? Okay, I'm, I'm glad you guys are back. They pull the archer all the way from over there, back here. I mean, this is what happens when you keep some units outside. We should be able to kill these without using too much. They might come back once, but that's about it. Can't make up their mind. Are they going up or are they going down? Those two boys got caught. Why are we picking on this one guy? There we go. There we go. All right, probably gonna have to end up roaring the captain, but we're gonna wipe this out, and then we're gonna start walking inside. <laughs> Cannot hit anyone. 
Alright, don't run. Alright, he's done, he's done. Come back here. Right, no moving for you. All right, victory for us. Alright, so which way are we going? I think we're going this way. We'll come back at the livestock. Any chance they put an oil on this side? No? Okay. What about this side? Oh, they did, they did. I can't freeze them now, but they, they, they took massive damage from that fire. Are we talking about mostly archers now? Yep, got them. It's gonna pick up the heal, and we're good to go. Hmm, our movement's ready struggling. I was thinking we can maybe get there, but apparently not, so... Let's get to the north side of it? No, can't do that. I guess we just get as close as we can. Alright, we'll be taking these three out, corn will be wiped, and then we're gonna work on Lady Mi, try to find Zhuge Liang. Yuan Xi will be wiped, we'll get all of this done. Doesn't look like the fact that Sun Tzu is not here and it's just minor factions make me feel better about wiping it all the way to the um, Yangtze River over here. And then basically clear this entire area out and then we start working our way back to Cao Cao. We'll wipe out Sun Tzu's northern holdings. We'll let... This is Xue... Who's the faction leader of this right now? Oh, it's no longer the original one? Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll let them hold land just like we let Yangfeng hold land in the north. They colonize a few more. It's not a big deal. It's not growing too fast. Korong first, Yuanxi, Lady Mi second, and then Cao Cao's next. It looks like Cao Cao's beating up He Yi quite a bit. Um, I don't know if he's going to push He Yi out into the field or not. He's still alive, so it's fine. Um, aside from that, we only lost Han Sui to old age or to death. 
could be both. Um, doesn't matter too much. Pantong has not spawned. Also not a big deal because all he gives us is night battle. And the only one that we really want is Guojia's movement range. And that's the one that we'll look out for when we start fighting Cao Cao over here. Xu Chu as well for general health. We married her off hoping to pick up her ability. Zhang Yan's out west and also slightly in the south. Kind of all over the place. We want the siblings for more movement. They're going to be deep in the south. We probably can't get them. This combo will give us enough to become king, which will be kind of funny because we'll spawn three kingdoms even though we hold one piece of land. I think the other candidates probably Cao Cao, but by the time we get Sun Ce killed, which is when we can get it, Cao Cao is probably already dead. We probably already burned down this everything here. So we, we made a good chunk. This will be done next episode. We'll start moving our way down as well. Hopefully all of this eastern coastline will be all raised by then. And then we'll work on Cao Cao. It's surprising that the AI is not targeting us and actually fighting their own war against He Yi. Uh, I think this is a combination of the fact that we only have one piece of land, which also looks kind of intimidating that defense wise. And also because we're just a minor threat, which is because we have only one piece of land and really one army, uh, one and a half, even though the half is a lot stronger. Uh, but anyhow, we will end turn here and then figure out what they want to do with us. We'll use the end turn as a save. I know he probably has another army and if, if Korno's going to colonize, he's going to colonize his capital back. That makes sense. So I guess ending it here would make sense. We'll go catch that army. They had to rebuild it. It's actually in very bad shape. He restored his capital. You can see the movement from Don't Lie back to Beihai. The default capital there, basically. We're getting schemed. All sorts of spying stuff. Vassalized Zhang Yan. That's quite historical. Uh, anyways, Cao Cao is going to be our next big threat. We wipe out Korum first, and then we'll work our way down the Xu province. Until then, bye!